So here we are going to describe about Shay function. Suppose here let us consider an undimensional example, and here let this be a beam. And suppose we are considering this beam as an element, so we will have two nodes. One node is here, and this is the second node. And we are having two displacement. First one is u1. This point only is having a displacement u1, and node two is having a displacement u2. And by some mathematical formulation, we will be getting this u in between the place here. If we are to find the displacement at a point at this place at a coordinate x y, by some mathematical formulation, we will be getting the function like n on x y. This one, we will be getting this function. So the peculiarity of this function is so in subsequent video we will be explaining this one. So here we are having a displacement u, and if we are supplying this x and y, we are able to find displacement at any point in between these two nodes. That is, but the condition is we should know this u1, u2, and also we should have these n1 and n2 functions. So when we are looking at it, we are finding the displacement at this point by some interpolation technique. Where we are using two functions n1 and n2. These two functions can be called as interpolation function, or this is what we call as the shape function. So the peculiarity is suppose say we are to find displacement at 2. So we already know displacement at 2 is u2. So u is u2 is equal to n1 xy u1 m2xy u2 so by the simple logic if you are uh, thinking in a simple mathematical manner we are concluding that for this to happen this n on xy must be 0 and this n 2 xy must be 1 so if n on xy is 0 and n 2 xy is 1 due to we can find this displacement at u2 as by this equation that is if you are considering a node 2 at the node 2 the shape function at 1 n on x y will be 0 and the shape function at this 2 will be unity similarly if you are taking node 1 at that node 1 this n2 x y will be 0 and n on x y will be 1 so this is the property of the shape function According to uh, the node we are considering, the shape function of that particular node will obtain a unity value and the other nodes will be zero. So, in short, shape function is a function that we are using to interpolate the given quantities available u1 and u2 to obtain the field variables in other intermediate points. So, the properties are at a particular node. The function corresponding it to it will be having a value of unity and all other values will be zero. So that's the basic explanation for this shape function. Thank you.